Prince Andrew is reportedly refusing to read any media regarding the civil case filed against him, as the Duke returns to Balmoral to spend time with the Queen. Prince Andrew's reluctance to read media coverage of his pending civil case and his desire to avoid being served with legal papers potentially show that deep down, the Duke of York realizes the severity of the allegations, claims British journalist Sherelle Jacobs. Since the announcement that his accuser had filed a lawsuit, Prince Andrew has maintained a low profile and recently returned to Balmoral to spend time with his mother, the Queen. Her comments come in the wake of a Daily Mirror article which alleged that the Duke of York is utterly convinced that he could brush off the allegations of sexual abuse made against him. Prince Andrew has consistently denied all claims which were filed on August 10 under New York's Child Victims Act. Speaking on The Jeremy Vine Show, Sherelle Jacobs said, I find it quite interesting that apparently Hess bullish, but Thea's kind of a contradiction in that piece because it says Hess refusing to or allegedly refusing to read any media. So it seems that deep down, perhaps he does know it's quite a big deal. The exclusive Daily Mirror article alleged that the Duke of York had told his closest confidants that the scandal surrounding the sexual assault allegations will blow over. A source close to the royal claimed, It is clear he, Andrew, has a clear and burning desire to return to work as soon as possible. That may look entirely impossible. But if anything he's become emboldened in recent weeks, and remains utterly convinced he will not only be exonerated, but will certainly forge a way back to public life. Certainly he has given the incredibly bullish impression that this will all blow over within a short while, rather than become a protracted issue. These comments come after reports that Prince Andrew has avoided being served with legal papers and has kept a low profile at his home in Royal Lodge, Windsor. Prince Andrew's accuser, Virginia Roberts Chufa, filed a civil case claiming that the Duke had sexually abused her on three occasions when she was 17 years old. Virginia Dufer is an alleged former victim of convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, who Prince Andrew befriended during the 1990s. The case alleges that Ms. Dufer was sexually assaulted at the London home of Epstein associate Ghislaine Maxwell, and at Epstein's homes in Manhattan and at Little St. James in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Ms. Dufer claims that the Duke acted in full awareness that she was a victim of sex trafficking. Now 38 years old, she is claiming compensation for the significant emotional and psychological distress and harm caused by the Prince's actions. In court documents, her lawyers alleged, 20 years ago Prince Andrew's wealth, power, position, and connections enabled him to abuse a frightened vulnerable child with no one there to protect her. It is long past the time for him to be held to account. Prince Andrew has consistently denied all allegations made against him, telling BBC Newsnight in 2019 that the supposed abuse never happened. It didn't happen. I can absolutely categorically tell you it never happened. I have no recollection of ever meeting this lady, none whatsoever. Following the interview, he withdrew from public duties and ceased to represent the Queen in formal engagements. In a later statement, he said, I continue to unequivocally regret my old judged association with Jeffrey Epstein. His suicide has left many unanswered questions, particularly for his victims, and I deeply sympathize with everyone who has been affected and wants some form of closure. I can only hope that, in time, they will be able to rebuild their lives. Of course, I am willing to help any appropriate law enforcement agency with their investigations, if required.